Okay. Uh -huh. so, let's mm. sit out here. Mm. How have you been? All right. Uh, listen, Karina told me about the situation that happened with you and her. Okay. And she told me how everything went down. And I'm not happy. When you're angry, you, you say things to her that are hurtful and I don't agree with. And as a mother, no matter what, right, wrong, or indifferent, I have her back 110%. Honestly, Paulie, I'm extremely hurt and disappointed. Like, I felt like you were a son to me, and I just never thought that something like that would ever happen. She felt so betrayed by you. You're calling her name, she's calling you names. We've got to end. At this point, I've had enough of Paulie. Like, I'm not going to keep going through Karina. It's annoying that anytime Karina tries to do something for Karina, it always involves Paulie, whether it's a good way or a bad way. So it's time for me to address Paulie himself and tell him what it's going to be. At the end of the day, that's my daughter. The disrespect across the board, I'm asking you to, like, cut that out. Both of you have so much growing up to do. You have so much learning to do. You choose to be in Karina's life, you have to learn how to be friends with each other and be able to communicate with each other, because the only thing that will happen by not being able to communicate was affect other people around you, which it has affected me. It's probably affected your friends. You're right, and I, as a mother, I definitely understand where you're coming from. I was immature, and I handled it in an immature way, and... You may have acted immature at a moment, but now it's about your maturity and how you deal with it from here on out. I'm very small-minded at times, and I, I, I let my temper kind of... You let your me. temper, you let your emotions, like, everything. you know, you love Karina to an obsession. It's just, it's, it's toxic. I think Paulie truly loves Karina. Sometimes his emotions get the best of him. So I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. He just doesn't know how to really balance being in love with someone and how to respect someone. And I believe he completely loves Karina. It's just, can he handle it? Does he know how to act? Time will tell. You guys could be in a relationship, you could be cordial, or you never talk again. That's going to be up to you two. But the way you guys move forward is to have respect for each other. doing here? I want to talk to you. Oh, I guess we can go upstairs. Paulie was out of control the night of the fashion show. And not only am I over being disrespected, but I'm over his overreacting moments. So I want to hear what he has to say face to face between me and him. And we can go from there. So what's up? What do you have to say? You've been focused. I've been focused. You, you've been doing your thing. I've been doing my thing. And I f***ing get it. Like, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't fucking love you, even though I might, I may do that, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't fucking love you. The way you talk to me is like, nobody will ever talk to me like that. OK, I apologize. Because some nights you'll sit there and be like, you're the only thing. You do so much for me. You're this, you're that. And then the next day, you'll be like, you're a dog. You're this, you're that. Why? Because I'm living my life now. I don't I don't get it. Like, I can never just be happy. I just the bad outweighs the good. That's the you fought with me every day of my life. We do not work together, period. You just don't know what you want, honestly. I know you what really I want. don't. No, you don't know what you want. I do know what I want. So, what do you want? I want to be happy. I feel like there's so much drama and so much immaturity and so much problems between me and Poi right now. I don't know where we can go from here. There was a time in my life where I pictured you in a fucking wedding gown every day. No matter how much we fought with each other, no matter what happened, I always wanted to marry you. The best decision is for us to be apart. It should have been you. It was always you. I'm done with this conversation. Baby girl. Oh, darling. Mm. I was hesitant for my dad to meet Alec in the past, but I'm slowly rebuilding a relationship with my dad now. And I'm willing to put effort in and, you know, do my part. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Who is this young man? My amazing boyfriend. Alec, nice to meet you. How you doing, Alex? 
Nice Ooh. to meet you, too. Pleasure. Too. I've heard a lot about you. I haven't heard anything about you. <laughs> Not a word. I don't want to be friends with Taylor's boyfriend, but I really want them to respect me, and I don't, I don't take Let me get a jack knee, please. Look at me. Look at me. My daughter lives with you, and you've been with her for 14 months. Correct. And this is the first time I'm meeting you? You know, you know how much of a problem I have with that? I don't know why she hasn't made an introduction sooner. Sure, why couldn't you pick up the phone and call me? Well, to be honest, I mean, it, I, you're not really somebody that's around. You know, that I, she's, I'm not around? Uh, as far as I know. This is my daughter. And not at one point in those 14 months you ever thought that it might be something as a man. Because how old are you, 23, 24? <laughs> I wish, I'm 30 years old. Alec is a know-it-all. How he is can honestly tick off a lot of men in my family, so I'm trying to avoid that, honestly. You and I were at that phase where we didn't talk for a long time. I don't know you from a hole in the wall, right? I'm old school. I don't like that I didn't meet you. That, and that's that's good to know, you know. But I'm doesn't... a bad guy. I'm a really bad guy. Listen, I'm that, somebody that's... that you don't want to ever. F with. Dad, behave yourself. Excuse me. No, excuse me. Is that not disrespectful? Now I'm sitting here me? like the bad I mean, person. Why are you getting treated you're... like a child? Because I know exactly how the f you are. I'm sitting outside. Taylor, come here, Taylor. Taylor, 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 Taylor. Exactly what I was saying was going to happen is happening. The threats and the side comments and, you know, the tough guy act, that's not what I came here for. Why am I here? I to make me feel uncomfortable? He's so f You just, I'm not, yo. yo. <sighs> There's so much built animosity with this guy that he just gets me going. If I want to talk, I'm going to talk. Of course you don't talk. Don't tell me to shut up I and don't sit here and tell me when I can and cannot speak. You got to tell him that, though. Oh, man. Oh, man. My firstborn, Matt. I don't know where he spawned from. I mean, I know he's my son. You know, the kid does the right thing. And I love him to death. <sighs> Can't believe how you hit that bag. Jesus. I don't know why you don't take a year off and just box, man. A year goes by fast. I'm, you know. I didn't choose that right. I chose to work and take on bills. I understand that, but I just, I'm, me personally, as your father, I don't want you to look back and say, what if? I think it's something that you should really, like, think about. Besides all that, how are you? So, um, I met Taylor for dinner. I met her boyfriend for the first time. I wanted to meet him. I wanted to sit down. You know, once I ordered that first drink, I knew where it was headed. And I lost my temper. I hope I didn't ruin everything, because I got to build a relationship that we lost. I got to try to build that back. I know. It's hard, though. It's hard. I know it's hard. Trust we're all me, such different people. Like, yes. So I mean, besides all of that, besides Joe and Taylor, what do you see for yourself? What do you want to do with your life? At 48? Oh, that's, that's a really good question. Really, you know, my only real dream is for all of us to be together. I mean, I know it can't go back to when you guys were kids. You go, unfortunately, you guys grow up. <laughs> I wish you didn't, you know. All right, not all sentimental. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't help that, you know. I, you, you're 24 years old to me. I still remember the day that I brought you home, you know. It'd be great to have everybody in the house at one time, you know, but. You can't force the family together. I don't want to force gotta, anything. Yeah, I want it just... to happen naturally. Exactly, yeah. You know, I'm constantly thinking about running away. Like, I just want to get out of here. But in the front of my head, I just want us to be a family. I really, more than anything, would just love for them to come by the house and not ask for anything. Just come by and sit down, go in the refrigerator, grab something to eat, turn on the TV. I'm still making a lot of mistakes in my life, and I'm every day I'm, you know. Is, yeah, but everybody makes their mistakes. I know. Everybody. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. I just want to see us all 
be normal and happy.